Hey guys, it's me again, Flo. In this our Nigerian fufu recipes marathon, by the time I uploaded the potato fufu recipe, some people were like, oh my god, I didn't realize that we could prepare fufu with all these basic staples. Yes, we can, and I bet that you've never heard about kokoyam fufu. Let's go. To make kokoyam fufu, that is niede. You will need kokoyam and cassava fufu. Ideally, the head of kokoyam, that is isiede, is used to make kokoyam fufu. The head of kokoyam is spherical. This is where the combs attach to the head when they were still in the soil. Isiede is not common. In fact, I was shocked to see it in my local African food shop recently. And kokoyam fufu came to mind immediately. If you do not have the head of kokoyam, you can use kokoyam combs. The cassava fufu is used to bind the kokoyam because kokoyams are quite soft and sticky when you turn them into fufu on their own. I have a video for how to process cassava fufu from scratch and the link would pop up on the screen right now. If you do not have cassava fufu, you can use cassava flour, that is apumpo, like I will be using in this video. For these two kokoyam heads, I will be adding one cup of cassava flour. First, peel the kokoyams and cut into medium cubes. Rinse them. Put in a pot, pour water to cover them and start cooking on medium heat. While that is cooking, mix the cassava flour with some water to form a dough. I add water bit by bit till I achieve a moldable mix. Mold into small balls and set aside. When the kokoyam boils, watch the clock and leave it to boil for 10 minutes. Keep an eye on it because kokoyam boils over more than anything. After 10 minutes of boiling, add the balls of cassava and continue cooking. If you are using cassava fufu as binder, it is a different method altogether which I would not want to get into in this video to avoid confusion. If you want to use cassava fufu as binder, please let me know in the comments and I will explain, okay? After 10 minutes or till you can easily drive a knife into the pieces of kokoyam, it's done! Pound the kokoyam and cassava balls in a mortar till you get a smooth dough. To be honest, I do not know if the kitchen appliances blender, stand mixer, food processor that we used for other fufu recipes can do a good job with kokoyam fufu because you need to really pound and crush these balls of cassava flour but you can try after pounding dip the pestle in the water and pound deep pound deep pound 
till you get it smoother. This is how my grandma arranges it. Wet a flat plate. Scoop some kokoyan fufu onto the plate. Wet your hand. And start arranging from the outside to the center. Outside to the center. Outside to the center. It is called Ehakwan Niede in Igbo. Hey! Oh my god, oh, this one is grassroots. That's it! Serve with any Nigerian soup for swallows. Bye bye! See you tomorrow!